Yeah, yeah, what's good, Joe? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for this afternoon, Pat Scorpio, the Lingley representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what he do is Shuttleworth the God, a.k.a. the GOAT artist, a.k.a. Lotta Del Boss, nigga. Ring dang radio.com in the building, building, building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Ring dang nah. forever and always. <laughs> Yeah, and as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to introduce himself. Yo, what's good? It's your boy, King P. Bodega P. Bodega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio, let's go. Hey, Bodega P. He's definitely in the sewers today, bro. So I don't, you know, I don't even have to ask you if you find crime. You probably find crime right now. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying, though. But, uh, you got a sewer right in the headlock. <laughs> right? <laughs> you get them blue caps off the street first, though. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Rats get high off that shit. You can't stop them. Yeah, you can't. You have bodies upon bodies. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah so they start stealing pizza and craving human food. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're supposed, to, they're, just, they're supposed to crave that garbage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like like a courthouse pigeon. <laughs> you know, fuckers coughing and shit. Like, you ever, have you ever heard a fucking pigeon cough? That's one of the most chilling things you'll ever hear. Like... I have not, and you know, but it's good to know because that probably means if I ever hear something like that, that means I'm not going crazy or something, or words not going too demonic for my liking. You know, so I was like, okay, that's just a bird just, you know, coughing and shit, like, instead of me being all in my mind. That's good, that's good to know, though. You learn something. <laughs> <laughs> But other than that, we, we, we in here, you know, everybody, how, how everybody feeling? We good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I got my coffee, my Eagles mug, and that's just, you know, I have to, I got to go you know, my Eagles stop playing this a little bit this afternoon, man. So, yeah, man, I'm ready. You know, shout out to Pilot, you know, Pilot, maybe, he, he might be really in the clouds right now. Hopefully, maybe he'll join us at some point during this, uh, during this cast or whatever, man. Yeah. Ho- hopefully soon, so we get his uh, input on this first episode. Real. <laughs> you know, get, we get in there. We, we throwing it back to some music. Yeah, Haven't yeah, reviewed yeah. no music in a good minute. No, we haven't. There's been plenty, there's been plenty of re, uh, releases, though. But, yeah. but you know, obviously, there's one that we definitely want to get to. Obviously, the sequel to the seminal classic. I'm, I mean, East Coast for sure. I'm not sure how everyone else does in different regions. Uh, Do or Die by AZ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. And usually when rappers be doing these sequel albums, depends. Some of it, it can be hit. You know, like the Raekwon shit. Oh, don't you mean um, it's do or die, right? It's like it said do or die. It's, 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 do, it's do or die. It's not, I mean, do or die, do or die. It doesn't matter, bro. It's always... It's do or die. It's do or die. It's do or die. No, in the... <laughs> In the, in the intro, in the intro for the first album, it says "Do or Die, Do or Die." It doesn't say "Do or Die," nigga. Hey, look, man. What well, we doing? The whole Cassius Clay, his mama name him Cassius. I'm gonna call him Cassius routine. Like, all right, nigga. No, Samantha. Okay, don't. If the nigga, cover says "Do or Die," we'll, we'll call it "Do or Die." Okay, nigga. Even though I know what the fuck, is, I know what it says. We'll, we'll say "Do or Die," nigga. <laughs> You know, but yes, do or die. You know, the seminal classic man. Hey, let me let me just let me just let me just say, do or die is in my personal top ten of hip hop albums. Just saying. Yeah, no, I mean, it, 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 it's it's like short too. It's like maybe eleven tracks or whatever, though. But goddamn, those uh, are twelve, tracks. twelve. But really? hey, sometimes sometimes less is more. And it, and it has the hidden track too that they never really found the track. Which is one of the hardest songs on the album. Yeah, it really too. Yeah, it's, it's hello, not, hello. Yeah, that, that was in, that was in the peak when the five percent shit was really going, man. That, All that, around these will the news. Who could figure his killers like it is it? Ooh, that, yeah, AZ was snapping on that. Yeah, AZ man, and AZ is one of the and like, like I said, AZ got his deal obviously simply from um, you know getting on life's of, life's a bitch, you know, off the classic Illmatic, you know. And then that was back in the days when uh, if a rapper hit on his on his guest appearance, uh, record companies used to just sign you off like off that. He didn't disappoint though, and you know that's kind of I me. Mean, dude went gold off the um, Sugar Hill, 
He actually went gold before Nas did. <laughs> and subsequently went platinum off that album. You know, so I mean, so obviously calling, you know, saying that you're gonna make a sequel to that, I would say, you know, you know, that it, it, that's a big thing. And, uh, you know, it dropped finally, and it's not like, I mean, AZ didn't have a, you know, didn't have a good career. I mean, dude is constantly mentioned as one of the most underrated lyricists of all time. You know, I mean, obviously he's part of the firm, and then, you know, but unfortunately, AZ's career has always been marred by label issues, you know, starting with the second album, Pieces of a Man, which was dope, so, you know, but, yeah, it, it, and then after that, it's always been like, you know, and you know he's nice, but he never, but the sales never really matched what he was putting out. Even though he, dude was putting out flames, like put, dude, dude put out fire, straight fire. You know, but uh, but I mean, he's like he's, said, he's my favorite rapper too. Yeah, no, he's one of my he's favorite. My favorite rapper. rapper too. Yeah, like, like honestly, if you if you don't like AZ, man, you just don't like rap. You know, like say because AZ be snapping, spitting constantly, bro. Like his. His flow and his lyrics are all very distinct. You can't, like, you hear him spit, it's like, God damn, yo, like, that's AZ. Then he'll be creative, too, on some fan mail shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely great to hear him last year, you know, on King's Disciple, you know, when, you know, when he had the little firm reunion on the Posse Cut. You know, Posse Cuts are dead, you, know, you don't hear much of those like that. So, you know, so yeah, you know, Do or Die 2 came out and. First, I mean, first I let it run the, the first, um, you know, I always like to give it, like, I always feel like to give it the skim before I give it the car test. And the, and the skim, to me, was great. You know, I, I was fucking, like, okay, yo, this sounds like this, you know, this might be some vintage shit over here. Um, but before I get into my own thoughts, uh, LB, man, what did you think about that? I don't think you, you were setting up. I want to hear this. Like, I know how I feel about it. Okay. Yeah, I might disagree with y'all, like, so I don't know, like. I mean, I mean, first of all, I mean, I, I think, I, I think, I mean, uh, I'll give my opinion uh, for the, for the new album. Uh, yeah, for Doja yeah, Cat. Yeah, go ahead. Well, well, as as a guy whose favorite rapper is A Z, and this guy who's been waiting for Doja Die Two for the longest because he's been fucking, uh, you know, giving that previewing it for a, for a decade already. You're supposed to get that fucking ten years ago, but you know, it is what it is. Um, after the wait, I realized, you know what, if it comes, it doesn't, if it comes, it comes, if it doesn't, whatever. Now that we got it, I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. So, I've listened to the album a couple of times, several times, actually, like six or seven times. Okay. Um, and I'm feeling the album. It's a, it's a, it's a dope album. It's, it's not, it's not great. It's not prime AZ, but it's definitely some smooth shit. So, you know, fun. Yeah, like, I mean, the one, of the, one of the great things about AZ, though, AZ, AZ is at his best when he's rapping over, like, classic 80s samples, like 80s soul R&B samples, like, you know, and, and there's a... You can't, get, you can't get AZ without those samples, so... Right, exactly. You know how that... So I fucked with the samples, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 it was smooth, you know, AZ always on his smooth shit pause, but, you know, I, 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 fucks, I fucks with that. You know, the production... It could have been better. I'm not gonna lie. It could have been better, but I've heard worse. So you know, it is. It, it, it's good. It was good enough for for what I heard. Could have, like yeah, I said, it could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. So yeah, because I mean, one thing about AZ, AZ rips whatever production. You know, like honestly, it's it's. I mean, even if the even the production is lacking, like AZ will still spit hard on it. Like he do will still spit. But in this part, in this in this in this album too. Some, some you can hear that he was kind of lazy at sometimes. Like you could tell that some some of the joints, even though he was spent, he was kind of uninspired. I mean, like AZ could like rap in his sleep. So like sometimes it did feel like he was rapping in his sleep. He was just like, okay, you know, like he could rap. Like that's one thing you know I appreciate about AZ is he still lyrically has it. So you know, so he had he didn't fall off with the lyrics. Even the weak but, bars on the on the album, it was more about a song issue. But you could tell at times, you know, it was like he was kind of getting a little lazy, and it was just like, you know, it, it, it. Sometimes you could tell, but for the most part, I I enjoyed the rapping. I enjoyed the features. All the features, all the rapping features came with it. You know, yeah, what I'm like, saying? The, all one was, the one I was surprised about though was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. And that's the one. That fucking well, song, like. uh, honestly, I'm I'm not gonna lie. As a as a as a you AZ shouldn't case, be surprised by Lil Wayne snapping on a feature. No, like, uh, as a as a as a. 
as an AZ fan, I kind of was a little, this is where I was a little jaded, a little salty, because it's like, you got guys like Wayne and Ross that they would have never gave AZ a look when they were at their peak. But now that they're, you know, on the way down, like, oh, okay, now they give a guy like AZ a, a, a verse. So, oh, uh, 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 no, Rick Ross, though. Rick Ross has been always been collaborating with the legends. Like, I mean, dude has, like, something with Ray Kwan at his peak and shit like that. Like, dude, be, dude would always rap with the East Coast legends. Yeah, I can't really say that about that. Because remember, Ross was damn. Ross got songs with Project Pat and videos. Like, how many A level dudes is doing, is bringing, is doing that? Like, Wiz? Yeah, but yeah. Then, y'all don't look at Wiz the same way y'all look at Ross. Okay, I'm okay, okay, but definitely Wayne. Wayne would have yeah, never Wayne gave a guy like sure. Nah, I don't, I don't even know about that because Wayne be fucking rapping with everybody. Yeah, he, he was rapping with a guy like AD and his prime. Like, I mean, he got songs with Cormega <laughs> and Cormega Prime. <laughs> Well, that's probably when he was actually trying to get onto the East Coast shit. When it was that, know, mean, that was before. That, no, that, was before was, that was before Wayne's prime. That was before Wayne's peak. In yeah, 08, he's not, in 08, I he's think not he was making prime, a, but yeah, nah, he, he was in peak, but still, like. Yeah, that's what, that was when Wayne was doing that wobbly wobbly shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, and his prime was when, when, <laughs> when Wayne was on the top of the world, he would have never gave guys like Cormega and AZ a feature. So, or even a guy like 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 T Pain, who T Pain, who even came out and said he didn't want to work with Royce to Five Nine. Now that he's now that he's you know nobody's checking for him like that. Now he wants to work with everybody. Like some of these, I'm I could never be in the music industry because this is where like shit like this is where like nah you don't want to work with me back there, but not kiss my ass. Like, yeah, I mean that's, that's a lot I mean, of bullshit. Yeah, it, it's petty. I mean it's very it's very petty. Like all it takes is just one bad encounter and rappers hold grudges. I mean that's that, that's the reason why you never. Hear anything from Jay Z and LL Cool J? Because that's the, yeah, that, that's a perfect example of that. Like the now, niggas, that's, that's you almost describing like ninety percent of life. Like this happens at job, works, podcasts, yeah, <laughs> gyms. But um, the thing is that as um, you know, as much as I liked the uh, rap features, I didn't like the R and B features. They didn't fit. Like, and I liked The Wheel when it first came out. It was okay, but like, it's one of my least favorite songs on that album. And I dislike the T-Pain song like the most. That's the one I don't yeah, like yeah. at all. Actually, I actually, I actually like The Wheel. I mean, Jaheen came correct. The Wheel was dope. Like, I don't know what was everybody's problem with that shit. Like, Jaheen. No, I don't have an issue. No, I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue with, with The Wheel. I just feel like it's one of my least favorite songs on the album. And somebody said this, and I completely agree. AZ is a better fit when the feature comes from a female singer. For some reason, it's just weird. Like, it, like he's not as good fit when it comes to male singers in a feature. No, so, I, 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 nah, I can't agree with that. Yeah, only only because one of my favorite songs of Pieces of a Man had had a feature from the late Kenny Green from Intro. You know, and that and that and that was one of my favorite AC songs. Uh, what's the yeah, deal? Yeah, yeah, what's the deal? It. That, 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 was, that, was, that was cool, but it's not not. Right. I, I, that, that shit was cool, but it was it was die. Right. But nah, like I just I completely like I completely disliked the feature he did with Joe. That one was like, ugh. Like. Yeah, the Joe the Joe didn't hit, but AZ got other features with male R and B vocalists, and they sound good. Like the Joe was the, the whole song. You could have put anybody on that song instead of Joe, and it wouldn't have worked. Like that song, the beat, it was trying too hard. It just didn't have that vibe. Like it wasn't, it didn't feel like an AZ song. Like it felt like someone said, yo, AZ, see if you could do this, you know, get you on 106 in Park, da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, though, I really enjoyed the album. Um, Could have been, you know, could have been a little better, but, you know, it could have been a lot worse. So my rating, I would give it a seven out of 10. Word. And I just want to reiterate, too, the same thing about, yeah, that T Pain song is the only song I legitimately did not like. And like it, it, it didn't work. Like I mean, AZ was spitting, but T Pain was just nah. I I, I I was good with that song. And like, the beat was straight. It's like I see what they was trying to do. I felt like the track would have worked better if you had um a bridge rapper, like a rapper that could kind of bridge the gap between AZ and T Pain styles. Right. Like if you'd have threw on like another su- southern artist or or had somebody else on there that kind of kind of take you in there with T-Pain and then throw AZ some if AZ get on there with his verse he do his thing yeah like I think I think the track kind of could have worked cause I don't to me this is the T-Pain song ain't bad it's just man like it's just 
it's just there. Like, I, no, no lie. Fucking a lot of AZ's bonus songs, final songs, be trash. Yeah, word, word. <laughs> Damn, like, he but, does it every time. Like, the album will end, and you're like, okay, I can fuck with this. It didn't. Bang, 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 bang. You, 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 hear, you hear the little bullshit bonus song, and you're like, ah, oh, stop. Yeah, and, and and it's like I mean, and and you know he he cut it for a reason, but for whatever reason he likes to add them shits at the end. Like, yeah, like no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and I, honestly, that was the only song I really just like. I say, dude, just, the chemistry just wasn't there. The song, the song didn't work, and it was just like. And T Pain was trying, like you hear it in his voice. Yeah, <laughs> like it just wasn't working. Like, don't Devin Alexander, you know, fight harder and shit. Like adapt, like do something different. <laughs> Oh man, no. Niggas trying to hit the heavy bag harder. Yeah, but songs like Check Me Out, though, like, you know, one thing that I always miss too is like niggas rapping over the fucking Bobby Caldwell sample. Like, that shit, like, in, in the mid 90s, that shit was like obligatory. Like, niggas always, like, you have to I'm tired. To- I didn't even like that song. Like, I'll be honest. I'm so tired of hearing that. He sounds so uninspired. Like, that was literally one of the worst songs to me. Like, I mean, to me, I thought it was one of the best songs. Nigga. I was fuck like, no. But like, like I said, I just miss because no one raps over that sample no more. So and, that's, even, that's, and I've seen, look, man, fucking half a mil rapped over that sample and he what's killed all, what's that all? shit. Uh, check me out, that the one that used the Bobby Caldwell sample. What's no, check me out, the, the beat I'm rap song. That song. Hold on, which one? Uh, and check me out, the peak, uh, the... Was he? Uh, check me out. What's the what's the Bobby Caldwell song? Was it? Or hold on. Now nah, you. I maybe. I maybe have a mix up. I like the song that that Pete Rock produced. Yeah, check me out. Is the Pete Rock song? I like okay, it. My favorite, I like dope. Keep It Real. Keep It Real is my favorite song. The other song, the sample you talking about is different. That's like early in the album. Really? I thought it was Check Me Out used after. Either it's either that or. You talking about oh, do for love? That sample, or I'm mixing it up. Yeah, that, that, that's the sample right there. That's the Do For Love sample. Yeah. Nah, that's not the Pete Rock song. I thought it was the Pete Rock song, nigga. Keep it real. Is the, keep it real is the one with the sample with the uh, Do For Love sample. Trash. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, trash. I'm good. <laughs> oh no, but other than that, I mean, I, I do agree with Pete Squad. I'll definitely give it. I mean, my score is also a seven out of ten. So, like I said, if AZ, like I said, I mean, like I said, the uh, the song where he was just like he was just kind of sleepwalking I mean it did bring it down a little bit like I'm not gonna lie though even though he was spitting though but like overall it, it, it's definitely a passable enjoyable album um, so LB your thoughts alright fuck it I'ma just I hate to even have to do this shit cause it's really like my favorite rapper but it is what it is like I heard it several times and I was in agreement with y'all at first with the 7 but then I, I made the mistake or I just got so caught up in the AZ. I started listening to Format and the Memphis remix sessions and other AZ songs. Then I came back to that shit and I was like, nah, this shit's more like a five or a six. Like, especially for a sequel. Like, then I heard, I was listening to them um, Only Built for Cuban Links Part 2. Oh, to see, to see, now you then, you I, then I really was like, nah, this shit's like, honestly, like, this would have been a fire EP. Fire EP. But it's like he got stuck in the album mode, made an album, and it don't seem like all of it was thought out right or or cohesive like that. Like the samples and a lot of the beats are uninspired, and so is the chorus. Like he got like maybe five or six good songs that I would listen to again, but other than that. The intro is unnecessary. Like it doesn't do anything. You don't need that. Well, you just want to say you have Idris Elba on there. <laughs> yeah, just, nigga, put us make a song and just have him talk at the end. Like, yeah. <laughs> the uh, I, I love just for you. That's like one of my favorite songs on there. Cause he was smooth on that shit. That sound like a real fucking A Z song. That just for you. Like that shit brought back fucking um. It's the world things. Hey, yeah. AZ. Like that's the yeah, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is classic AZ cut. They, I fucked it up not putting it on nine uh, pieces of a man. I was about to say nine lives. <laughs> yeah. Nine he, lives. He, nine lives was better than like there's so many to me making this album any higher than a six is an injustice to his other albums because the gap is too wide. If if this 
albums are seven, then that means like A Wall, Asiatic, Format, them shits is like nines and tens. And those albums are really like eight and nines. Like, in a hot minute or a wall. Dude, the format shits all over this album. Like honestly, he like like the I like song for if you if you was to take the best song from format, it would be better than the whole album. But the best song from Do or Die 2 would not be the best song on the format. Would not be better than the best song on the format. You know, I mean, I might need to run that format back a little bit. Sit like, back slow with MOP better than anything on that album. Because usually when I run back AZ shit, usually it's, usually it's the first four albums that I usually run back. You know, oh, on occasion. Format was dope. A Wall was dope. It's better than Asiatic. Fucking um, it, it just I he kind of. Now don't get me wrong. Like when I first heard the album, I was like, okay, okay, he's spitting. No, Asiatic was dope. Asiatic is absolutely dope. Yeah, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, Asiatic classic to me. Like, that's dope. He had some songs on there that was just changing my life. Like, the the production. The beats, for the most part, on this shit is like, it's cool. Like, the features are like the best songs on here. You add, you keep the features and in the wheel just for you, and maybe one other, two other songs. Cut the album in half, five, six songs. You good fire EP. And then he could have just dropped this, and then eventually came out with a real album and got all, got better production. The Nas feature, whoever else the fuck you want to work with. Yeah, that's another thing too that was missing. Like, what? I mean, I know Nas and AC have probably have a very complicated relationship. I think it's just schedules. I don't think there's no beef or nothing. It's just schedules. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, Nas may, I mean, Nas may. Do it, uh, do it, die. You know, what I mean, with his two, with his two appearances on there. You know, what I'm saying, like those, those he, needed be, he needed to be on this one. It didn't, it didn't feel right with Nas not being on it. Yeah, I mean, I like, I mean, yes, I mean, I like that. You know, the, you know, he brought back Pete Rock and especially Buck Wild. I mean, Buck Wild has been, you know, he's been off from the scene for a little bit. You know, he got things really on the ground now. You know, so the Pete Rock song is arguably the best song on the album. Yeah, and honestly, I, 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 and, and, and like, I, I just hope that he, I mean, he, he probably should have really brought back more of the original cats on there, because I know like, D.R. Perry was on there, and L.E.S. Like, these these were the cats that made that, that first album. I mean, yeah. I, I feel you, but the thing is, I don't know their situations. I don't know if he tried, so I don't want to just, I could only really get at the end result. Right, no, no, I, I, I feel you on that. I, I feel you, like, I, I could get on the process, but since I'm not privy to the whole process, I'd just be like, eh, I just... I just wish he could have had like like him and Ross have like a good chemistry. They do. I would like to see him and Ross need to make an EP. Yeah, like so uh, you know, just it. yeah, wrap it over some luxury luxurious ass beats. You know what I'm saying? Some beats you can just ride out to. Because you know? honestly, this is like the worst produced AZ album. There's not a lot of standout production where you're like, oh shit. Like it's good, it's smooth, it goes together, but. You know, and none, none of the beats is whack per se, but they're just, it, it just it, 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 they, 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 they could be more. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, I think what AC probably needs is pretty much what Nas has with Hit Boy. Like, dude, dude needs to like they just rank in with one or two or just a handful of producers. Cause I mean, it was like a hodgepodge of producers on this. Shit. You know what I mean? And so, I I, you can make a hodgepodge work. Just you gotta have better quality niggas from the hodgepodge, or pick better quality beats from that. Yeah, but you know how this one is because I mean, I mean, most of them just send beats like it's not like it's in, done in the studio. It's like like it was with you know like it was back but in the day. Then pick out better beats, nigga. Like come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not here with the same. Yeah, no, I'm saying I hear what you're saying though. To make a hot song with the fucking to pick out the right beat, like pick better beats. <laughs> True, so absolutely. I mean, true, I, I, look, man, dude, my favorite rapper. I can't give no dude no pass, though, man. Like, like there's niggas who say the album is like mid or or, or a four or five. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, and like I said, and everyone and and from what I respect everyone's opinion on that, like, you know, because like I said, most people, you know, obviously, 
re recognize that AZ is a high caliber rapper or most people were just like, you know what, this stuff, you know, a lot of the stuff out there is really made like that and it's like a breath, it's like a fresh of breath, uh, a breath of fresh air. So it's like, I mean, it's like I, number two on iTunes. Like, people wanted to hear it. People yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, that's why I felt like it needed to be a better because it would have really, if he would have put out a really great album instead of just putting out a quality mid album and still getting the same attention. Imagine if this shit would have been a real classic. I feel like people are like hyping it up because they just wanted an AZ album so bad. Yeah, it, it, but like I said, make it a little least, better than what it was. But at least, at least he's not putting it out where there's an actual drought. I mean, whereas you know where Kanye is trending and Nas is trending and Drake is trending, so it's not like he's putting it out where like niggas. No, is he put out with competition. I give him that. Like, yeah, and, and it's not even his best work, and it's competing. But that just speaks to the state of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, and don't get me started on that. Yeah, the album so bad that we'll accept that and say it's great. Like that's that's why I can't do the seven because I don't want a nigga to hear this and be like, oh, okay, it's a shit. Nah, because then I would have to boost up all his other albums because there's a uh, there's a huge gap between this and Asiatic. No, 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 you absolutely. I mean, so, and like I said, honestly, this would not even be. I mean, th I mean. The worst AZ album I ever heard was the one that they didn't release. <laughs> like the, you know, like, the final call was dope, nigga. Nah, I, could, I, thought, I thought I thought that shit was uninspired. Nah, final call was better than this. Yeah, yeah I was not. Yeah, there was. There, I remember there was some real. There was some real bullshit on that one, and and, and then they put all those tracks on one on the on the decade album or whatever. You know, what I'm saying there was a whole a design of a decade. That's like one of the best double discs I have. Like I, I remember buying that years ago. I might have to bump that shit in the whip because that's that album. That disc too, man. Like yeah, like all the best. And see, when you hear like great production, like you hear that, you can't just jump into this this new project and be like, okay, like yeah, nah, it's mm -mm. like I'll probably nah, like. I, I, I was Oh, go ahead. No, no, I, was, I probably won't even listen to the whole project in whole again like that. Whereas every AC album always been had replay value to me. This I'll probably just listen to like the, the three or four songs I li really like, and that's it. I mean, too much singing on the damn raw song, and it wasn't <laughs> great singing. <laughs> Never, ever, not like, like, dude, like if you were to put like a Keisha Cole or. Uh, K. Michelle on that, they would have they would have sung the hell out of that. Hell, even bringing Miss Jones out of fucking retirement. Miss Jones would have sung the hell out of that, but that person was like, eh, like the beat was smooth, beat was dope. That was one of the better beats on the album, and I'm like, was. I'm like, fuck, like y'all had good verses, but then y'all fucked up the chorus, so it's like, yeah, I, yeah, I, the, the album, the albums, the album's really a five, but it's a six just because. The bright spots are real bright, and he restored the feeling somewhat with the nostalgia. Right, you know. So, and then, honestly, that's and all. That's that's really whack verses are bars. Like, there's no whack verse. No, absolutely not. You know, that's what. That's no what matter makes. if you say he's sleepwalking or not, it's not a. Like, I know sleepwalking rapping. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, do I mean? Uh, I mean, he's sleepwalking. But I mean, saying that he's sleep. I mean, his type of rhyming is hard to do when you're not sleepwalking. You know. You know, you're not sleepwalking, so it's not like you know. I mean, you do still, you still nailed it, you know. But that's why like, production is such a big thing for him. Like, yeah. and a lot of people bullshit and then and, and hate a lot of AZ albums and say the beats are trash, and then they turn around and like this one. I'm like, you niggas kidding me? Like, y'all not hearing what I'm hearing? I mean, it depends. Like, I mean, I mean, you're a big AZ fan, so it's a little different. So, I mean, that's the first place. Then, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so there's niggas that always say, oh, is AZ still doing this whole, you know, multi spin real fast? You know, dude, so undeniable was better than this album. <laughs> and that, it I was. I haven't, I haven't listened to that one in the hot minute either. Like, you know, like, like I said, I think pretty much, I think the la like legendary and undeniable are the ones I, I haven't revisited in like. I listened to nah, really I, cool. I didn't. I didn't feel legendary. Legendary was the weakest AZ album. Like I, I like this album better than legendary. Legendary is like a, a four or a five. I even like the whole um that tape he did, like Nas, where the the nigger album. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. He did something like that too, and that shit was fire. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was a, I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, that one. Uh, that's part of the reason why I didn't too. I was like, yeah, it was cool, whatever. Undeniable though, I might, I, I might have to run back though. It's real shit. Und- dude, the production. Listen to the production on Undeniable, and then listen to the beats here, and you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People just think AZ raps over soul samples. Like he raps over other types of production. Like, yeah, I think the niggas. I think niggas want. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is uh, they want him to rap over a more modern, a uh, modern, modern production. Like, you know how Nas is doing it with the King's Disciple album. I think they want something like that from him. Like, so something. But he's else, done that. Like he's always rapped over modern. But that's like I don't know what niggas was expecting like that. As far as like what, what niggas be expecting for him, his albums, his previous albums, shit. Is, Ah, but I don't yeah. even, we almost feel like we took up too much time on this shit anyway. Yeah, I mean, it is like, I mean, bottom line, like, bottom line, I mean, it's, it's not, I mean, if you're an AZ fan, obviously, yeah, I mean, it's cool, let's say, I mean, we're sort of feeling, but you could, but you could also feel like, yeah, he could definitely put out a better product. And he may actually have a chance to do it because since his, since, you know, since his album is trending so well, he, we may actually see another album from him soon enough. And hopefully he does learn, he takes in any feedback he's gotten from this. Cause this should have just been a regular album. I would have never put Do or Die Two as the title for this. But that might be the jinx too. <laughs> that's, that's probably yeah, it. cause it's like, and Do or Die like that's almost classic to me. Like that's shit. I fuck with it like that. Dad Az like ah, Az got dope ass albums. Like, but this was just quality mid. It was it was it was cool. It's a six. I can't give it higher than a six. I can't give it lower than a five. I don't even want to go lower than a six because it's still quality. It just wasn't it just the star, all the stars went in a line correctly. Like it just it was missing some shit. But well, let's put it this way: I mean, if they put out in the winter time, I probably wouldn't play it as much because some of the production is like it's really summertime shit. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I probably have to wait. But at least now, at least he put it out during at least the last days of summer. So at least I can I can at least I can pump some of them shits a little longer. You know, while the sun's yeah. out before it starts getting cold and shit. At least for my area, not for you, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's I told you, like, like AZ, like, that's year round, like summer year round down here. Yeah, yeah I'm AZ. bumping AZ all year, like. AZ a- for you, like. Yeah, AZ the visualizer. Yeah, no. So yeah, but I mean, bottom line is like, well, I mean, it is worth a listen. No, and then you can just, yeah. you can, you can, you, you can uh, have your own opinions on it. But it is definitely worth a listen. Like we're not saying that it's trash. And it's not. Yeah, it's, it's no, it's, it's not trash. Definitely, listen. if you're an AZ fan, definitely listen. You'll you'll come back liking something. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the bottom line. You know, I can't really say any much more about it. Facts. <laughs>